For thousands of years, the traces of the people that lived on the lakes of the Prealps in the Neolithic and Bronze Age periods remained invisible. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that unusually low water levels in the lakes uncovered them. Archaeologists recognized the pile dwellings and their significance. The discoveries attracted the attention of researchers worldwide. In those days, it was thought that the pile dwellings stood far out in the lake on large platforms. We now know that this idea appealed to the romantic movement of the time. Underwater, in lakes, and in waterlogged land, the absence of atmospheric oxygen means that microorganisms, fungi, and plants have no chance to grow, and even organic matter can survive for a very long time. The oldest textiles in Europe come from pile dwellings. Wooden vessels, bone implements, and complete tools provide various fascinating insights into the everyday life of a bygone era. Dendrochronology, or tree ring dating, can date timbers and houses to a specific year and can even chart the urban development of whole towns. This makes it possible to do detailed research on Neolithic and Bronze Age settlements from the period between 5000 and 800 BC. The World Heritage prehistoric pile dwellings around the Alps includes a selection of 111 of around 1,000 known archaeological pile dwelling sites in six countries. Research has only just begun. Scientific investigations on the deposits are still needed. Their positions need to be mapped, the findings documented, and the artifacts cataloged. Participants from the various countries are working closely to investigate the pile dwellings and to protect them.